Welcome to the Zen Zone. We're here with the Skydio 2, the Insta 361R, and the S18. We're gonna try to create some quality content for you. I'm gonna show you the S18 off roading. I wasn't gonna beat it up, but uh, that didn't last long. I my, I dialed in my suspension, and I really wanted to test it out on some off roading, and I was pleasantly surprised. At the end of this video, I'll let you know which uh, EUC I like better, the S18 or the V11, and which one I think you should buy. So stay tuned for that if you're interested or still deciding. We're gonna start off slow and ramp it up into some more epic footage as I kind of learn about my S18 here. I start out slow because I'm very new on this device and I don't quite know what its capabilities are. I feel like with any of these EUCs, any EUC you get, really take your time with it. Really learn everything about it. I mean, it is kind of one negative for me of the S18 right now is getting it dialed in is not, there's no like cookie cutter, look at this uh, instruction booklet or read this online answer. There's no cookie cutter answer. And it takes work to really find your proper pressure. And I think out of the box, the, the shock is not quite broken in. It feels like you got to break it in. And that's just me. After about 100 miles, uh, it's starting to feel broken in. It's starting to feel really smooth and a little bit creaky. I would like to oil it down. I think if I take some take some time and research, research exactly what I need to oil down and where, uh, <laughs> it'd be very useful. And it, the creaking doesn't bother me too much, but it kind of makes it feel like a cheap toy. It's like, quick, 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 quick. I wish I could capture that on camera and I'll try to in the future. Uh, it's not like a deal breaker either, you know? It's not, it's just a minor, you want your suspension to just feel sound ninja-like, you know? I don't want it to sound like a cheap toy. So that's a that's a negative there for the S18, is the, this kind of squeakiness. And I'm curious to see if I'm the only one getting that. And I'm curious to see if the later batches will have that same sort of squeakiness out of the box. They probably will, right? Uh, it's something that's probably going to require a little bit of lube. I think White Silicon actually bought some, and I will take some time. I'll wait for the more techie techs, Duff or uh, Marty, to show me exactly uh, what needs to be done. So I'll wait for the pros to do that, and then I'll follow suit. For now, I'm going to work on my riding ability. I'm working to level up my riding ability if I have any free time, which is pretty sparse these days. Editing YouTube videos takes a long time. Editing TikToks, <laughs> no time at all. I love making TikToks because you get tons of views, you get tons of comments and engagement, and it doesn't take as much work. A YouTube video like this takes about probably a half a day to a full day's worth of editing. A TikTok takes 10 minutes to 15 minutes of editing. Some have taken me 30 minutes, and usually the longer I take to edit a TikTok, the less views it gets, so it's a weird algorithm there. Uh, but yes, I really do enjoy this process, but with work and writing, really not much free time. I do get a few games in here and then. I'm big into Apex Legends. Been playing with Taylor Motes. We just hit Gold League, so that's pretty impressive, and I think I'll be getting into some Star Wars squadrons, but that's like a few hours a night where I'm able to get a game in before bed. Mostly my life is dedicated to the way of the UC and learning more about UCs. Mostly not so much on the tech side of, you know, digging into the internals. I would like to get to that level. I'm all about writing ability and becoming one with the wheel. And, it, and some people have even commented. That's a comment I actually like to get is like, wow, it looks like you're one with that thing. And that's my goal is to become one, one with it. Not like cutting off my legs and... <laughs> getting the EUC installed directly, but, you know, becoming so one with it that it, it looks like that, you know, if I were to wear a costume or something like that. I did buy my first Halloween costume. I'll be showing off some some pics of that soon. It's nothing crazy, and it just kind of goes with the lead armor. You probably could guess based just off that. <laughs> but uh, it's the first Halloween costume I've ever bought. I've always kind of hated Halloween. Like, man, why am I going to pay money for a costume I wear once a year? But I figure with Star Wars Squadrons coming out, uh, and I'll probably stream a few Star Wars Squadron games. The the helmet, you know, <laughs> that I bought will help with that. And, uh, you know, I'll probably make some content with it too. So it's killing more than just uh, Halloween. And I'm really excited actually for Halloween because of this. And I'm excited to share some of that content. 
All right, let's get into some of the positives of the S18. What I like most about this EUC, oh, there's so many things. All right, what do I like most about it? The suspension, the suspension feels amazing. Once you get dialed in, I was riding with some um, one wheelers last night and was able, I mean, it's the perfect EUC to ride with one wheelers because you don't need to go that fast to keep up. It has enough speed to keep up and be much faster than a one wheel. And it also has same like kind of like stunt type abilities. You lock your ankles in. The ergonomics of it are awesome. I love being able to lock my ankles in and use that to jump. So jumping curbs and rocks and whatnot on the S18 is pretty easy to do. Uh, and I, I like that. I like that aspect of it. It's a lot funner than my Nikola. Uh, oh man, it's just so fun. I wish I could use words to describe how fun it was riding last night, like hitting these weaves. The weaves you could like push into the suspension to to increase your turn radius and you can hit some really tight turns on it i absolutely love it i'm gonna be taking the v11 out again and really i'm at about 700 miles on the v8 v11 trying to work my way up to a thousand i just added the sherman stock pads to the v11 so i'm excited to take the v11 out again too and try to mob on the v11 it's gonna be hard for it to be more appealing to me than the S18 on a lot of the rides I do. I think the V11 is better for bigger riders. I'm like 135. The S18 is perfect power for my weight. Um, would I like it to go faster on the road? Yeah, I would. Like if it could do 35 or they hit the same speeds as the V11, that would be nice. But I don't think that's safe for the S18 and keeping it under 27 is definitely what I recommend gonna go ahead and throw on some music and kick back and enjoy the rest of the drone footage. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Actually took uh, quite a few days to make. Uh, <laughs> it tried to finish it all in one day but there's just so much uh, footage and it's such large footage that it takes so long. To and not. But I really enjoyed making the video. I enjoyed watching this footage again. Calico Basin is a beautiful place. Lots of off-roading. My off-roading skill on the S18 is not that great yet. But uh, check back with me in a few months and you'll see me mobbing hard on some of these same trails. And I'll also be, again, bringing the V11 out. And I want to try to really take the V11 out on the same place as I would the S18. And now that I have the new Sherman stock pads on it, I think I'll just I'll just destroy on the V11. That thing, the suspension is different for me. The, the feeling is more cushy. It's more bouncy. Uh, it's more better for long range rides. Despite, you know it not getting as much range as the Sherman. The Sherman would be the ultimate long range cruiser, but for like a mid range cruiser, the V11 is amazing, unparalleled. And I think it's gonna do great off-roading too with these pads. I think I'll be a lot better and more comfortable on it with the, the stock pads and stay tuned for that video, V11. I also was hitting a pump track with the V11. And it was fun, man, because I started on the, a decked out MSX Pro and I have this footage on drone, I should throw it in here. But I, was, I started out on the MSX Pro it's decked out, knobby tire, uh, really good pads, uh, pedals, the, the $176 metal frame pedals, I forgot what they're called, but they're amazing. It was decked out on it, I was loving it, and I didn't even want to try the V11 on it because I was having so much fun on the MSP. But then I did get on the V11 and hit the pump track, and I was killing it. I would have destroyed the MSP in a race because, I don't know, the suspension just feels amazing on pump tracks. I want to go back. Super eager to go back. If you guys get a chance to try the V11 or S18 on a pump track, you're going to have a blast. Uh, more footage of that to come. And until next time, stay in the Zen Zone, stay safe, and gear up.